Hey guys, this is No Saber No Life here, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to carry or breeze through horde mode. I decided to make this video because I thought I could use more competition, and also to help out new players who are struggling, and I'm sure people can use the extra gold and get themselves some nice skins for weapons and armor. So I'll be showing you guys what I tend to do from start to finish. Here, as you can see, I'm in the Taiga map. One thing I try to do first thing is to grab the hoe. But if you don't see the hoe anywhere soon, it's not the end of the world. I can get by fine with fists or the short sword. I usually stick to the fists, hoe, or short sword until I find myself at a thousand gold. And if you guys followed my previous videos, you might know where I'm going next with a thousand gold. That's right, I'm getting the scythe, and therefore I'm going to clap everyone's cheeks in one hit before the medium armor units start to roll in. Around wave 5 is where I always find myself ready to buy my favorite weapon, the Executioner Sword. Another thing I also wanted to mention is my skill build. I always build my way up quickly towards the counter skill. This skill is the bread and butter of my build. Then I make my way towards maxing dexterity, then lever action. And after that, it's up to you if you want a few points added to toughness or a critical hit. With this skill build, weapon, and the right mind and skill set, little to nothing will stop you. This build heavily relies on reposting, or also known as counterattacking. On level 5 of the counter skill, reposting will not only get double damage, but it will also become unflinchable and unblockable. Literally nothing can survive your repost except bosses. Watch as I make short work of peasants, light armor, medium armor, and even heavy armor units. I try not to level toughness from time to time because I feel like it makes the game a bit too boring as you'll find yourself playing without consequences nor a challenge. As you can see here, I got careless with measuring my distance with the ogre, but thanks to skill, I got lucky. Another skill I wanted to go over is lever action. Mind you, this skill will sneak up on you because at first it is very underwhelming as you get one point of extra damage per level. Around level four or five is where the skill truly shines, as with most two-handed weapons deal 10 damage to ogres. You will need 11 hits to kill them normally. However, with max lever action, you will need seven. Like all things, I admit the skill build isn't exactly perfect, as the only flaw or annoying thing I've found about this build is that it's too reliant on reposting. There are times when enemies do miss, and that will screw you over, as it can throw you off your rhythm. The only advice I can give when that happens is to try to make sure that you're going to get hit when you're reposting. Also, one more thing I wanted to tell you guys is that this counter skill build is not exclusively for the Executioner Sword. It also works well with many other weapons like the Maul, Scimitar, and the Bardiche, as these weapons not only deal great damage, but thanks to this build, they also attack super fast. There you go guys, by the end of this, I always find myself on the top of the scoreboard. I know I died more than I should have, but the point is that I always get more money and here, as you can see, I get 1,310 gold. That was it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys find this video helpful, and maybe I'll see you become a juggernaut as I play from time to time. As always, your likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions are always greatly appreciated, and you're all more than welcome to join me on Twitch. That mostly happens on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. PST. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.